Prince Harry troubled by recent behavior, but Meghan wants nothing to do with it Prince Harry's life has changed forever in the past four years. When he stepped down from his role as a senior member of the royal family, he left everything he knew behind, his upbringing, his position, and, most sadly, his family. The journey has had many difficult and emotional moments, but the 40-year-old Duke of Sussex seemed to have turned a corner last week. He flew to New York on a highly publicized solo trip, without his wife Meghan Markle, to combine some of his greatest passions, conservation, the environment, and preserving the memory of his late mother. And if the visit proved one thing, it's that Prince Harry is managing to bridge the gap between his old and new lives, and for that, he deserves praise, according to leading royal experts. I've reconnected with the old Harry at recent events in the UK and now in New York, former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond told an exclusive. He has a great attitude towards the people he meets, especially the children and I think that shows his family at home that he is determined to continue to serve without any royal strings attached. If he wants to use his platform to do good, we should applaud that. While Prince Harry may simply be enjoying his time as a devoted husband to Meghan. 43, and a proud father to Prince Archie, 5, and Princess Lilibet, 3, the fact is that he is using his public profile to help others. Harry can live a more modest life now, he's a multimillionaire after all, and he could live a fun life in the California sun, Jenny's dresses. But he has chosen to use his platform to promote causes he cares about, to serve, despite not being a working royal. I don't think he's trying to cause trouble for anyone. I think he's just following his instincts and his mother's example. It's no coincidence that he supports some of their causes. I think he feels really called to continue working. The legacy of his mother, Princess Diana, was the driving force behind Prince Harry's visit to New York. He highlighted the work of the Halo Trust, the charity that organized Princess Diana's walk through the Angolan minefields in 1997, and also celebrated the 25th anniversary of the Diana Award. At the 14th Annual Concordia Summit on Mental Health and Climate Change, Prince Harry spoke with the two recipients of this year's award, Kiara Riyandi Hutapi Chan of Indonesia and Christina Williams of Jamaica. I think my mother would be very proud of you. I commend you for standing on this stage with confidence, he told them. Your work mirrors my mother's life, Jenny warmly adds. Diana would have been very supportive of Harry's decision. She would have been proud that he had the courage to leave such an unhappy life behind. She probably chuckled with delight at the tirades he unleashed against the palace courtiers, the men in grey who she thought were making her life so difficult. But at the same time, she would have been devastated by the rift that had developed between Harry and his brother. She always made them promise to be best friends for life. Unfortunately, that proved impossible, but Harry continues to demonstrate his loyalty to the causes and charities that mean so much to him. Something Princess Diana would have admired and been proud of. Another key moment at the summit came when Tessio Ho, CEO of the Diana Awards, joined Prince Harry on a panel discussion about the global mental health crisis. Speaking to the audience, Tessie described the Duke as a passionate advocate for mental health, she continued, when we walked into the room. He actually told me that we shouldn't be talking about mental health anymore, we should be talking about mental fitness. His commitment to this cause strengthens our mission. Prince Harry will visit New York City during the UN General Assembly's important high-level week and climate week where he will promote a number of sponsorships and charitable efforts, his representative said. This work is central to everything Harry wants for the future, Jenny explains. I don't think he has any big plans to rehabilitate his image. I think he just wants a more balanced life where he can return to his home country, fulfill his obligations, and hopefully spend time with his father before returning to his home and family in California. 
and he's passionate about wounded veterans, mental health, the dangers of the internet, and other campaigns he's involved in. His friends say he's kind, funny, and just a regular guy. He's always shown a determination to support causes close to him. Deep down, he's due to fly back across the pond on Monday, September 30th, to attend the Well Child Awards in London. Prince Harry, who has been patron for 16 years, praised the charity ahead of the event, saying, I am once again honored to be taking part in this year's awards ceremony which recognizes the incredible bravery and achievements of children with complex medical needs. These incredible young people and the dedicated carers, nurses and professionals who tirelessly support them are an inspiration to us all. It's a real honor to be able to recognize such outstanding individuals, 